The DevExpress Map Control provides all the functionality required to embed popular map surfaces into your WinForms applications. You're free to choose from any existing map data source, like Bing Maps or OpenStreetMap, or establish your own map data server inside your corporate network. In this video, I'll demonstrate our new WinForms map control and describe how you can add maps inside your application, use both Bing and OpenStreetMap providers, and colorize map contours from shapefiles. So let's get started. Let me show you how to embed Bing maps in your application. The first step is to create a new WinForms application. Next, I'll select the map control from the toolbox and drag it to my form. I'll use the map control's smart tag to invoke its actions list. In the actions list, I'll select the doc in parent container link. This allows the map control to occupy all of the available space on the form. To simplify its use, the map control provides a built-in quick connect feature to both Bing Maps and OpenStreetMap. To connect to the Bing's map data provider, I'll select connect to Bing Maps using the smart tag. Before running the application, I'll specify my Bing key. To do this, I have to use the Edit Layers link. In the Layers Editor, I'll enter my Bing Maps key using the Bing Map Data Provider .bing key property. That's how easy it is. Let's run the application and see the map in action. Now let's return to our app and connect our map to the OpenStreetMap provider. To do this, I'll click the Map Control Smart Tag, and in the Actions list, I'll click the Connect to OpenStreetMap server link. The connection will be established automatically. To see the result, let's run the application. Finally, I'll return to the application and demonstrate how to colorize map contours loaded from shapefiles. Because shapefile contains vector data, let me first remove image tile layer. For this, I'll invoke the layer editor by clicking the Edit Layers link. I'll click the Remove button and then close the editor. To load shaped data from the shapefile, I'll click the Load from Shapefile link in the Map Actions list, and then specify the path to the shapefile. In this example, I'll select the countries.shp file and then I'll click the open button. To colorize shapes from a shapefile, I need to add the following code to the form1.cs file. This code also creates the color map legend displayed with my map. The app is now ready. Let's run it and see the results. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.